Spanish. Uh, today I'm going to cook actually one of my favorite barbecue recipes, my buffalo burgers. Uh, it's a sunny day today, summer is here, now in Canada, finally. So uh, I'm firing up the grill and prepare, going to prepare my buffalo burgers. I'm going to show you what you need for this recipe. Um, if you buy my book, you're going to see, like I say, you need a pound of, um, of buffalo. I'm going to double that recipe today because I'm going to make a bigger batch. So I got two pounds of uh, buffalo meat here. Um, I got some old brand. I'm going to need a half a cup. I got a diced onion. Actually, it was a big one. Says so one small or or a big one, so that's going to be enough. Uh, I'm going to need one uh, half a cup actually of um, sweet potato, mashed sweet potatoes. Uh, so I got a medium sized one. That's going to be good enough for half a cup. I got some oregano. Uh, I got some sea salt as usual. I got some black pepper, uh, and I got my patty, my um, my hamburger buns here. There's that whole wheat flat buns. I'm going to show you later on. Um, so the first thing you need to do, basically, is to bake that potato. And the easiest way to bake that potato is in the microwave. So I'm just going to put that in the microwave for about seven minutes. Uh, anywhere between five and seven minutes um, the potato is going to come off soft and you're going to be able to take off like the inside of the potato uh, and get the mashed sweet potato um, and as well while that's um, baking or cooking uh, in the microwave I'm going to cook my um, my onions so what I'm going to do is cook them with a little bit of olive oil right in the pan because if you cook them, if you don't cook them, a little bit of olive oil. If you don't cook them, basically the the, 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 the pieces of the onion are still going to be hard in the meat, and you don't want that. You really want cooked and soft in the mix. So that's what you want to do. So cook those onions, potatoes baking. Okay, so now my my onions are cooked. They're already all soft. So I'm just going to pour that, i got a big bowl here to mix everything. I'm just going to pour that in the big bowl. There we go. Um, and my potato is ready too. Okay, because it's very hot, you got to be careful. There it is. Cool. And I'm going to show you basically what you want to do is, you just cut it in half. You take, oopsie. Still, still very warm, but you really much, you just cook the inside. That's it. Boom. You just scoop the inside of the potato. You can use a spoon. I use, I use a fork, but it doesn't matter. And we want half a cup. So basically, that potato is going to be half a cup. And what you will want to do then take a small bowl, for example, and you just smash it. That way, as simple as that. So there you go. So I'm going to add all the ingredients all together and I'm going to show you the finished results when it's done. Okay, so now I've mixed all the ingredients together. I want to show you. So everything's mixed with sweet potatoes, the buffalo, the old bran, uh, the onions. Everything's mixed together with sea salt and uh, pepper as well and the oregano. Basically, take your hands. And mix everything together. Well, just like you create a meatloaf, basically, the same process. There it is. So now everything's mixed together. What you want to do? Oh, and I forgot one ingredient actually. I completely forgot it. Egg whites. You need a couple egg whites. And That's why you have to review your ingredients list every time. So I need some egg whites and uh, I'm going to show you what I got here. It's, it's the egg whites I bought at Costco. Uh, it's liquid egg whites that I got. And for that recipe, uh, for single recipe, well, for the basic recipe you need two egg whites. I'm going to need four for this one because I'm doubling the recipe. So four egg whites. I know pretty much what it is, but there you go, that's four egg whites. Right 
there. Don't, don't forget the egg whites. That's going to help solidify everything together as well. Alright. So now, just, you want to form your patties. You want to put your patties together. Uh, so that recipe is going to make eight patties. So, take, so see, that's a good size, you know, big handful like this. So that's a good size for a patty. And that one plate, and that's it. So I'm going to form eight patties and then fire them off on the grill. All right, Karen is cooking some turkey bacon put on the burgers. That's going to be really good. Turkey bacon is actually a very good alternative to a regular bacon. It's actually very low in, in fats, high in protein. It's a great, great product. So it's going to make our hamburgers tastier. Good job, baby. All right, now I'm outside now. I'm going to put the, the first four patties on the on the barbecue, the little barbecue. There you go, a couple minutes aside, that's gonna be good. I just can't wait, they look already super good. Buffalo meat is so red, it's a really lean meat. So I'm gonna put them about like two, three minutes aside, and they're gonna be ready, and then I'm gonna show you basically how like, to create a really nice, healthy burger. All right, so now the patty's almost ready. I just wanna show you the type of bread we're using. We're using actually uh, whole wheat flat bread, so very flat bread like this one. And that's what we use for our burger patties and those are really good because they pretty much have the size and have the calories of regular you know patties and they hold wheat uh, they're actually 12 grains so they are they're really really good and there we go so now we're gonna take wow perfect and there we have it first patty so see we're gonna have I'm gonna show you we're gonna make a first burger there you go. So now we're going to put all the condiments we like. Uh, Karen prepared some turkey bacon we're going to put on top. You can even prepare uh, extra onions as well, rings of onions. You can put on barbecue, some mushrooms, whatever you like basically. All the healthy stuff you want to put on, lettuce and stuff. And you have a nice, big, healthy barbecue burger. Alright, I'm Dave Rule from and I'll see you next time. Take care.